I'm also being joined by Vipul B. Varshenya. She's a historian, author and principal architect of uh, Sthapati. Thank you very much, Ms. Vipul. And uh, you've heard it from Dr. Bijay. We've, we've spoken to K.K. Muhammad. He's uh, uh, part of the Archaeological Survey of India. Now, we must also want to understand uh, about the importance, the significance of the university and why has it been lost to the, to the world? Because when we talk about the Oxford and the other Ivy Leagues, they are much, much older than the Nalanda University that had been established. Very true. Uh, actually, uh, again, uh, as we all can see, it's uh, another moment uh, in history that's going to be demarcated today. But otherwise, uh, the 1600 year old university, the oldest in the world, as we all have discussed um, uh, just now, it's basically the, 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 the stream of invaders. Uh, as we all uh, came to know, uh, in fact, we are aware that is, it was built in uh, 427 uh, by uh, Kumar Gupta of uh, Gupta dynasty. And it was again patronized by Samudra Gupta uh, and uh, the, the uh, rulers uh, afterwards. And after the Guptas, it was uh, looked after by Harshwardhan of uh, Kannauj uh, uh, dynasty, of Kannauj, uh, that place in UP. And uh, then the Palas, uh, they also uh, patronize it. Uh, in spite of the fact that they were from Hinayan uh, Buddhism, which is different from Mahayan Buddhism. But still, it was patronized. But uh, various... Um, uh, uh, at various times in history, it had been attacked and damaged by invaders. Uh, we could see that, first of all, it was in the, the, by Hunas the at the time of Mihir Kula, it was attacked. That was the first uh, attack and it was uh, damaged uh, tremendously. Then again by Gauras in the 17th century, it was again damaged. And uh, as uh, uh, we have come to know that uh, it was rebuilt again and again on the ruins, on the ashes of the previous uh, remains. And, but again, the final blow which came up was in 1193 uh, when it was invaded by Bhakti Khilji and Afghan Turk uh, who invaded uh, India. And uh, that was the last uh, thing which, and, and in, for, in fact, uh, some very um, popular, uh, popular uh, is not the true word. In fact, the stories which revolve around why he, uh, uh, in fact, uh, burnt the whole university and it took three month, months to build, uh, to, uh, in fact, burn the whole lot of books, nine million books, which were there in the library that he uh, couldn't find uh, the Quran. In fact, he wanted Quran and there was not a copy of Quran over there. That's one story. Another story is that he was, um, in fact, uh, cured by a uh, Buddhist uh, 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 monk, which he, the disease he was uh, suffering from and not by his own uh, doctor. Uh, a very famous uh, monk, a very uh, gentle monk by the name of Rahul uh, Shri Bhadra. He uh, treated him and he was cured of the disease. And um, what a sadistic attitude. He, uh, he got uh, uh, angry and he burned the whole university, uh, the whole uh, campus, the whole present out of his uh, revengeful uh, attitude. Okay. Okay. So... Uh, then, Ms. Vipul, uh, now when we talk about the Indian Renaissance uh, and we talk about the science and technology uh, where we are uh, excelling, uh, whether we talk about the Chandrayaan-3 mission that has been successful, which is one ninth, one tenth of the cost of a number of these uh, uh, missions and space uh, uh, missions that are launched uh, by the Americans or the Russians or the Chinese. When we talk about the cultural renaissance, when we talk about the educational, spiritual renaissance, uh, something uh, that has been part of India for thousands of centuries is today uh, being propagated across the globe. Uh, 
the world is waking up to what India uh, stands for, what India symbolizes and uh, uh, the Nalanda University is one such strong pillar uh, of the Indian Punar Jagaran if I may call it. Very true. Uh, and in fact, uh, this is uh, uh, one moment in history which would uh, in fact bring in the uh, lost glory of this uh, great university which uh, uh, was very much uh, the uh, center of learning for the whole world. And in fact, uh, the whole globe uh, and the, 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 the mission and the vision which it has behind its uh, revival and behind its new campus is something similar that to impart those great teachings that great uh, the, the, to become again uh, the, the center of learning for the whole world and it has various um, faculties as you have already told like from astronomy from astrology um, conservation then environment and the, the modern subjects as well as uh, the old philosophies and theology. So it's a combination yeah. of modernism and ancient wisdom that would become the center of learning.